Now I just want to come to the fact that there are rumors that uh, uh, apparently that Russia's secret forces was I, w either were directly or indirectly involved um, in the way that Hamas have attacked. They, it seems to have been a more sort of um, highly tactical invasion um, and seem allegedly to have Russia's fingerprints. Is it possible that Putin has tried to divert flow of weapons from the West, from Ukraine to, to, to Israel. What do you think about Russia's involvement in this? You know, I've been making this point since day one, since, well, since day two, since the 8th of October, that this was too sophisticated for either Iran or Syria or anybody or Hezbollah to pull off like this. And I saw a Russian, is it, has anybody else written on it so far? Um... I don't think extensively. This It's just some rumours at the moment. So yeah. uh, Look, what we see, both in terms of the information suppression that Israel wasn't able to pick up on the signs, as well as the coordination of the attack on the other hand, uh, for me, the sophistication is entirely Russian. Uh, but that doesn't mean that somebody couldn't have independently come up with that kind of sophistication, either number one, and number two, does it suit Russia? Yes, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Russia engineered it. Uh, how does it suit Russia? Does it divert weapons away from Ukraine? Yes, but remember, Ukraine is mostly using dumb ammunition. Israel overwhelmingly uses air-launched smart ammunition. Right. Uh, so... Uh, Partially, yes, it will divert the flow of, say, 155 millimeter shells from the Ukraine battlefield, maybe. But the Israelis don't like to expend too much ammunition. They like to get their intelligence together very, very carefully before they go in. So instead of having to fire 20 shells, they just have to fire that one shell and do the job with it. There's extreme economy of effort in Israel, which we do not see in Ukraine. So even if the Russians did it, uh, will it divert weapons to some extent? Yes. Will it divert arms? No, because I see the two requirements as being very different. One, mostly for dumb weapons in Ukraine, which is all, you know, World War One style trench warfare with dumb weapons and for smart weapons in Israel. But funds and media attention, yes. Uh, there will be a significant diversion of funds from, because remember, smart weapons are infinitely more expensive than dumb weapons. You know, a shell, a Russian 155 millimeter shell would cost something like about 15 to 20 dollars. An American uh, 105 meter, uh, 155 millimeter smart shell with terminal guidance would cost you something like $25,000. Where is $15 and where is $25,000? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's literally the amount of money diversion out of Ukraine is going to be massive. Uh, precisely because Israel uses smart weapons, which Ukraine does not. I think that's where the thing is. And I think that is why Zelensky was trying first to visit Israel, which Israel said no for. They didn't want him coming in his fatigues and making this about himself, number one. And then Zelensky tried using the attack on the airport yesterday in Dagestan, in Makachkala, to uh, uh, underscore that Putin is anti-Semitic and whatnot. Uh, completely ironic, given the fact that there's not a single imagery that comes out of Ukraine that doesn't bear Nazi iconography. Uh, literally, I mean, even the Ukrainian Twitter handles can't put out a single photo that doesn't have Nazi imagery. So, you know, it's, uh, nobody's even talking. I mean, this is the longest period of time that Ukraine has been out of the news cycle in the since February 24th of last year. That's true. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.